Hi, my name is Kizu and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm currently using the Weight Watchers program in order to lose weight this year. I'm on the blue plan and I'm allowed to have 23 smart points every single day. Today, I'll be filming another What I Eat in a Day and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so I hate to be so basic, but you already know what I had for breakfast this morning and that is my Fairlife Protein Shake. I am obsessed with these guys. They taste so good and they're just two points. Sometimes I even have them for a dessert. Like they're that sweet to me at least. Also guys, please do not forget that I take vitamins every day. I make sure I take a probiotic and a multivitamin. So before I cook any meal, I always like to have a snack before I cook it because I tend to snack on food while I cook it. And that is a very easy way to build up your points for the day or to use your points for the day. So the snack that I will be having before I make my lunch is this protein puff snack that I went over in my haul. It's 90 calories and it's two points on the blue plan. So I'm about to try it and let you guys know if I like it. So they don't smell bad, but they don't smell like sweet, like too overly sweet. And this is the cookies and cream flavor that I'm about to try. So yeah, let's just dig into it. It's a no. <laughs> I don't know. It starts off good, but it has like a funny taste once you finish it. So yeah. I'm gonna put these to the side and get another snack. So let's do this over again. So I'm about to have a snack before I go cook my lunch and the snack that I'm going to be having today is <laughs> the jumbo snacks tiger paws now i've already tried this um and it does taste pretty good i actually like this better than i like the fruit loops one and let me show you guys how that look and how big they are here is come on focus a tiger paw so this is two points and they're not that big but they are pretty tasty so I'm about to go eat my snack and then I'll be going in the kitchen to fix my lunch and I'll be showing you guys what I'm having in my next scene. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with two handfuls of romaine lettuce. Then I'm adding some chicken, some corn, some bacon, some fat-free cheddar cheese, and for a little spice, I'm adding some jalapenos. And I'm topping it with three tablespoons of some honey barbecue ranch dressing. Okay guys, so I just finished my salad and I'm about to show you how it looks and go with the point value. Okay guys, so of course the lettuce is zero points. The corn is zero points, the cheese is zero points, is the chicken is zero points, the jalapenos is zero points, and I think that's pretty much all my zero point foods. So for the bacon, I use the Oscar Mayer center cut bacon. For two strips, it's two points. And for the dressing, I believe you can have three tablespoons for two points. So this whole salad is four points. Okay, well I'm about to dig in and I'll be back to show you guys what else I'm eating for today. So it's a little bit after lunch and I'm just having a snack while I watch some TV. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm having in my next clip. So this is about two tablespoons of the popcorn kernels popped. And I always start off by spritzing it with this butter spray so it can help the seasoning stick. So then I mix it around to make sure all the popcorn is fully covered. And then I just add my favorite seasoning and that's pretty much it. So here is my popcorn. I am pairing it with 
this Smart Sweet Sweet Fish Snack. This has also been one of my go-to snacks lately. So, back to the popcorn. Basically, what I do with the popcorn is I pop it in the air, in the little air pop machine. And I use about two tablespoons of kernels, popcorn kernels. So, once it finished, I mixed it with the movie theater popcorn spray I just bought. And I top it with some ranch, dress, ranch seasoning, dill seasoning, and some salt and pepper. And this tastes so good, guys. Like... I don't know if it looks good, but it tastes really good. I suggest that you guys try it. So I'm about to dig into my snack and finish watching some Netflix. And I'll be back to show you guys what I'm having for dinner and dessert. All right, guys. So it's around 7 o'clock and I'm about to go prep my dinner. Tonight, I'll be having some lasagna soup by The Skinny Taste. I know it may be weird to have soup in the summertime, but I've been craving lasagna, but I don't want to sacrifice my points for it. So when I saw that she had lasagna soup for just seven points, I was like, why not try it? So I'm about to go make that and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Okay guys, so we're going to start off by making sure our pan is nicely oiled. Of course, I'm using my non-stick olive oil spray. Guys, you do not have to slam your turkey this hard for this recipe. I just made a mistake and did. But anywho, you're going to cook your turkey for about five minutes or at least until it's all the way cooked through. So then you're gonna add some onions and garlic and cook it for about three more minutes. So then you're gonna add all of your ingredients except the pasta, and then you're gonna bring it to a ball and let it cook for about 30 minutes. So once the soup boils for about 30 minutes, I'm then going to add my pasta to the mix. Alright guys, so she does require that you make this little cheese mix for the recipe. Guys, I'm definitely going to leave the link in the description box below for more details. So the green bowl was way too small for me to stir my cheese mix, so I had to switch bowls. But here's the finished product of the cheese. Okay, so I just finished cooking my lasagna soup, and I did take a sneak peek of the taste, and guys, it tastes so good. Just, just to say that she doesn't require salt or pepper for the recipe, so... I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and we're going to go over the points. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. Now on her website, she said that this is seven points, but she used chicken sausage. But for me, I use ground turkey, which was zero points. And I think it's going to be like about five to six points, but I will put the final point value on the screen. Okay guys, so I'll be keeping it really simple tonight. Tonight I'll be having this s'mores pie. Now, I did see one of my Instagram friends shared it. Now, I'm not sure if she wants her privacy or wants me to give her a shout out, but I did get the idea from her, so I'm not going to take any credit. So, it seems so simple to make, and I'm going to show you guys how, how she made hers. Of course, you're going to need your favorite sugar-free chocolate, some marshmallows, but I'm just using some marshmallow fluff, and a graham cracker crust. So I always use my scale to help me measure our ingredients, but basically I'm going to use half a serving size of the Lily's chocolate and I'm going to use one serving size of the marshmallow fluff. 
So then I brought it at 350 degrees for about five minutes. So I just took my s'more pie out the oven and before you guys see it, I'm gonna say this. I tried to toast the top, but the marshmallow ended up burning. So if you see like a little hole, don't fret. Here is the final product. Let's see, there we go. So the marshmallow is melted and I hope the chocolate is melted underneath it. So I'm about to go dig in and I will let you guys know if I like it or not. Okay, pretty good. And here's the inside of the pie. So you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see the chocolate. But it tastes pretty good and it hits the spot. Like this tastes amazing. Okay guys, well I'm about to go dig into my dessert. But that's pretty much for all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy making it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.